In the year 1936, a Union Pacific train was making its way across the western United States. Aboard that train was Count Felix von Schaftgatsch, a Swiss skier hired by Union Pacific President Avril Harriman to locate a site near his railroad on which to build a ski resort. After searching the west, the Count was returning to Harriman with a negative report when the train made an unscheduled stop in Shoshone, Idaho, where Schaftgotch learned of a small lumber town 60 miles to the north called Ketchum. This is what he'd been looking for, plenty of snow and wide open slopes. Perfect for skiing and perfect for a ski resort. Harriman set to work immediately building a place called Sun Valley. And by December of 1938, North America's first ski resort was open for business, complete with the world's first chairlift. Today, the original lodge still stands. But ironically, Sun Valley's best ski runs were found later on the other side of the valley, on Baldy Mountain, 3,300 vertical feet of the most versatile ski slopes in North America. Out of all the great skiers to ski their way down the Sun Valley slopes, there were five that still stand out in a special category. There was Pat Bauman, the golf course greenskeeper, and Charlie McWilliams, an ex-ski racer, and a high-flying youngster named John Clendenin, and Jim Stelling, a Sun Valley waiter, and Bob Griswold, a local bartender. These wild, crazy characters had the world's best job. They were paid to ski. And as skiers, they were well ahead of their time. The year was 1971, and they were known as the performers. Performers. 